Hi everyone, today we're starting a natural ecosystems unit. All living things depend on each other for survival. Charles Darwin, who was the godfather of ecology, noted this back in 1859. A very simple example of this is the following. Without the sun shining, the grass would die. Without the grass, the deer would not survive. And without consuming the deer, the lion would not survive as well. This shows a very simplified example of how we depend on each other for our survival. Ecology is the study of how organisms interact with each other and their environment. The environment is all the factors in an organism's surrounding that can affect it. We're now going to look at the levels of organisation and use Finding Nemo to help us understand it. The most specific level of organisation is species. An example of this is Nemo and Marlin. They are both the clownfish species. Species are all the individuals that can interbreed and produce fertile offspring. The next category is population. A population is a group of organisms of the same species. An example of this is Nemo and Marlin. The next level of organisation is community. And community is all the populations that includes different species that can live and interact together in an area. We could think of it as Dory and Marlon when they go on their journey. Or we could also think of it as the fish tank. All of the animals in the fish tank were living together. They are different species, but their home, the fish tank, allow them to be a community. The next level of organisation is an ecosystem. An ecosystem is the community plus all the physical factors in an area. The next thing to consider is biotic and abiotic factors. Biotic factors are living factors within an ecosystem. Whereas abiotic factors are the non-living factors within an ecosystem. So if we use Finding Nemo as an example, the living factors include anything that can be considered alive. So for example, the pelican, all the turtles, and other living organisms that are in Nemo's ecosystem. We mustn't forget plants as well, as shown in the top right hand corner here. Plants are living factors that affect ecosystems. How they can interact can include a range of things. We can think of Nemo in his home. His habitat is the location or home within his community and it's the sea anemone. They interact by Nemo taking shelter in his anemone. Non-living factors within an ecosystem include things such as water, temperature, rainfall, soil, light intensity and elevation. Sometimes bushfires and seasonal changes can also be abiotic factors. That's the end of today's lesson. Until next time.